I'm going to talk to you about freedom. I think the one thing that we all want and desire so much is freedom. The freedom to be who you want to be. The freedom to do what you want to do. The freedom to have what you want to have. To love who you want to love. And to believe what you want to believe. Freedom, I think, is on top of the list of everybody. Everybody wants freedom. And we have received free will and uh, free choice. But most of us don't really feel free um, on this planet and in our lives. And so I spend a lot of time looking at freedom. And I realize that when we are born on this planet, we are born in this physical body, you're born into a family. And, but the first thing is your environment. You are born into an environment. You have a culture that you're born into, um, a body a country, a religion, and I've learned that everything that I resist in my environment will keep me very, very far away from freedom. The more I resist my environment, the less free I feel. Then the second layer would be other people. The more I resist my family, my friends, my peers, if there's any resistance towards another person, I don't feel free. Then the layer, as we peel them off, the other layer is you. And I think this is the final layer to freedom. I've learned that anything that I resist within myself um, keeps me away from freedom. So to truly feel free, I've realized that I have to be in acceptance of what is. I have to accept my environment. I have to accept other people. I have to accept myself. If I resist parts of me but love only other parts of me, I'm not free. I have to be able to accept all of the versions that is reflected to me. And so truly the key to freedom then is acceptance. So how do we accept something that doesn't feel good? How do we accept our environment when, when it's chaos? How do we accept other people when they cause us pain and trauma? And how do we accept ourselves completely when there's parts of us that of ourselves that we don't like, that we're not comfortable with? And I've learned that the only way that we can truly change something in our reality is when we are in full and complete acceptance of it. So how do I accept it? And here is the number one virtue that we are all working on every single day, and that is trust. The only way that we will accept things as they are is if we have a trust that something greater and bigger than us is taking care of everything. If we have faith and a trust that all is perfect as it is, even if I don't understand it, because we like to uh, say, if I can understand it, then I will accept it. But trust and faith is asking you to accept it without the need to understand it. And when you can finally get to that place in your life, when you just say, you know what, I don't understand this, but I'm going to accept that it is perfect as it is, and that it is there to serve me, and that it is there to teach me something. And even though I don't understand what it is right now, and although it doesn't feel good right now, I trust and I have faith that all is perfect as it is. And when you can reach that place in your life, that is where you find true freedom.